up in here. Woo! 2018. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I hope you are all doing really well. Hope you've had a great night out, whatever you've got up to. I sat in, I had the cold, so I just sat in and had a nice little relaxing night. So I did want to originally record a video for New Year's Eve, um, but like I said, I wasn't well, so I thought I would do this one, New Year's Day, get ready with me. So if you want to see how I got this look for New Year's Day, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to grab is just my PS Primer Water, and I'm just going to give that a nice spray all over the face just to hydrate the skin and get it prepared for the makeup application. I'm just going to take the MAC Strobe Cream and just apply that all over the face as well. For foundation, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Super Stay 24-Hour Foundation. So this is in the shade Nude Beige. It is going to be a little bit pinkier tone, but it was the only sort of colours that they had left. So we'll just go for it anyway and hopefully it turns out okay. So for concealer, I'm just going in with my trusty collection at 2000 concealer and this is in the shade Lemon. So it's going to really brighten up underneath your under eye for you. And I just apply this in an upside down triangle. I'm just going to take the same brush that I use my foundation with and I'm going to blend that into the skin. So you can see it's already making me nice, bright eyed and bushy tailed if any of us have been out for New Year's Eve. I didn't go out myself because I'm just sort of getting over a cold and I just felt absolutely miserable. So I had a nice relaxing night in the house, watched Twilight. I haven't watched a film in years and I'm not in the mood to watch the rest of them. So yeah, that's what I might do. I have a few days off now. I don't go back to work until Thursday. so. I think I might just chill out and watch the other Twilight films. So once I do my foundation concealer, I then like to go in right away and set underneath the eyes. So again, I'm using my trusty Earthspun Translucent Powder. I'm just putting a little bit of this just right underneath the eye to avoid any creasing and just to set that concealer. So I'm just pushing that right underneath and I like to go on top of the eyelid as well and then that helps prime for our eyeshadows. And then I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush like this one and I'm going to just set the rest of my face because I do go quite oily so I always like to set my T-zone. And I'll just make sure that my makeup doesn't budge throughout the day. And then to warm up the skin, I'm going to go in with Milani Bronzer and this is in the shade Rich Beige. I'm just going to take a little angled brush and we're going to sculpt out our cheekbones. And I also like to run this across the forehead also. And it just helps warm us up a little bit, makes us a little bit more bronzed and helps slim the face after stuffing our faces all over Christmas. Run a little bit down our nose as well. Ta-da! For highlighter, I'm going to go in with the MAC highlighter in the shade Oh Darling. I have had this for ages, but I actually forgot I had it, and then I find it in my makeup bag. So that's what we're going to use today. And I'm just going in with like a nice, dense makeup brush. And just really melt that into the skin. And I also like to sort of bring it just across where the eyebrow ends as well. A little bit on our cupid's bow. 
um, our nose as well. So you can be bland in your family across the dinner table. Beaut, beaut. We'll go in with our eyebrows next. I have to go in with the pomades by Freedom Makeup. I just think they're really, really easy to use. They're so cheap. These are like five pounds. You can't go wrong. So I am in the shade Ebony. I usually use the shade Dark Brown, but I've ran out of it. So I'm just going to have to go with the darker shade and just hope it looks okay. So I like to come through my eyebrows first. Make sure all the little hairs are going in the one direction. And I am then using this Eva Wing Liner 317 brush. See the pressure doing your eyebrows on camera. I don't thicken my brows up too much, just sort of filling in what I already have. And then not going in with any more product, I'm just using what's already on the brush. I like to just fade this product to the front of my brow. And almost using little brush stroke hairs. Just to fill in the front of the brow slightly. You feel that if you've used too much product, always go in with your little spoolie brush and just comb that out. And then that's going to give you that nice faded effect at the front of your eyebrow. So once I have my eyebrows done, I like to go in again just with my concealer and just run that underneath the brow bone just to tidy up any little mistakes I've made. Um, and it just helps sort of um, sharpen up your eyebrow as well for you. So to do that, I just like to go in with a nice little flat brush like this. Just going to run this right underneath the brow and as I said it just helps to sort of carve out your brow for you and it helps tip back any little stray hairs that we have and it also creates that nice little highlight at like at the brow bone as well and just blend that in with my finger now we are ready to move on to the eyes. I'm using the LMD and Be Perfect eyeshadow palette. For transition I'm just going to use the toffee shade right here and I'm just going to run that all over the crease. I think I'm just going to do a nice smoky eye today. My family are probably going where the hell are you Courtney? I'm supposed to be there at one o'clock. I don't know what time it is now. I was planning on doing a New Year's Eve video but I just was feeling miserable. So I didn't have the energy and now I sort of wish that I had to just grey set and just recorded a video but I was like I said just miserable yesterday so here I am today instead do you know what it's so great waking up on New Year's Day and not feeling hungover I do not envy any of you at all right now I'm going to run that underneath the eyes as well just to keep it all connected and all flowing Next I'm going to take the shade Tiger and again we're just going to run this all over the crease but we're going to bring it slightly lower than that toffee shade. She's using the same brush as the Senna Feather 15 brush so it's just nice and fluffy and this Tiger shade is just going to warm up the eye for us a little bit more. We're going to run that underneath. So I'm going to go in with the shades Coco and Smoky and I'm going to run that all over the lid. Just going to mix these two shades and I'm going to put that all over the eyelid. I just want to blend this into the previous colours that we've used. I don't want to bring this up too high but I still want to see it whenever I am looking straight forward. I'm going to run that colour underneath my eyes as well. So for eyeliner today I'm using the Unique Moonstruck Precision Pencil and this is just in the shade black. Ooh. I'm going to go in with the shade Noir in the LMD palette. Just help set that eyeliner for us. 
this is a little trick if you find that your eyeliner in the waterline starts to come off throughout the day always set it with a black shadow and it just helps it from budging next up we're going to go in with inner corner highlight my absolute fave and I'm just using the shade highlight and I'm going to put that in the brow bone and into the inner corner I'm just using this on a nice little bullet brush I think just inner corner highlight completely changes the makeup look just gives it that little bit of extra pop. This must be pop. That was NSYNC by the way. Then I'm going to take this into the eyebrow. Look at that. Look at that for a bit of highlight. Ooh, that looks good. So for mascara, I'm using the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I haven't actually used this before, so this is the brush right here. It's actually quite easy to hold. Quite small, you can pop it in your makeup bag on the go. Next up, lashes. I'm gonna put these on off camera because I don't want you seeing me trying to spend half an hour putting these on. So I'll be back in two little ticks. Lashes are on. Next up, lips. Okay, with a nice dark smoky look, I'm going to go in with the next liquid suede and this is in the shade Brooklyn Thorn. This is one of my all-time favourite lip shades to use at the minute. So guys, that's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up, click the little subscribe button for more videos and I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye!